It's time for School Spotlight on Global Take, presented by School Rubric. Let's learn more about the stories and information from schools around the world. What's your school story? Hi, everyone. My name is Kyle Martin. I'm the middle school principal at the International School of Panama, and it's uh, my great privilege to speak on behalf of our amazing school uh, with you today, tell you a little bit about our program, our offering, and life in Panama in general. Um, before we do so, though, I'm going to send it to our amazing communications team who has a, a quick one-minute video overview about our program. So I will send it over to them. Welcome to the International School of Panama. ISP is a nonprofit, student-centered organization this means that every penny is invested in the development of tomorrow's leaders. Academic standards at ISP are high. Our teachers and staff are dedicated professionals, passionate about the work they do, and deeply invested in our vision. At ISP, learning is a lifelong adventure and a process that should be exciting for the entire family. That's why we offer unique programs at every level. We believe in creating genuine and engaging learning experiences for our students to thrive. This year, we were selected as the first school in Latin America to receive a call from NASA from astronauts aboard the International Space Station. We are the only school in Central America with a certified STEM program. In 2020, seniors received $5.5 million in scholarships from some of the most prestigious universities, confirming that our International Baccalaureate program provides the tools students need to thrive. The ISP experience is rich and full of opportunities. At our school, you'll find state-of-the-art facilities for athletics, arts, and after-school programs, which offer a great variety of activities in which students can explore their passions and learn lessons and skills valuable for a lifetime. For more information, visit www.isp.edu.pa. So that video is a very quick overview about our program. I'm going to go into uh, just a few more details to provide a, a snapshot of who we are. There's no doubt that I'm going to miss some things, but um, I, I do want to tell you about our incredible program at ISP. Um, we are a nonprofit, as I was mentioned in the video, um, student-centered independent organization in Panama City, Panama. Uh, we're, we're located about 20 minutes outside of the city um, on this beautiful sprawling campus, which we'll show you in just a moment. And our our mission on our campus, which was um, recently tweaked with a number of stakeholders on our campus, from parents to students to administrators to teachers to learning assistants, um, to really hone in and figure out who we are as, as a campus or as a, a community. Um, and our mission is to inspire and challenge every learner to reach their full potential and become curious, independent, and compassion, compassionate citizens of the world. And, and there, while I could spend days and days just unpacking that, one of the things I do want to point out is just that notion of every learner. Um, we um, view every person who comes onto our campus as a learner and someone who's ready to grow and be curious and compassionate and potentially change the world. From our teaching staff to our maintenance team to, of course, our students and parents, um, it's really important that our entire community is a part of that mission. We do have five core values at the International School of, of Panama. We, we believe that these values drive who we are as an organization and, and they should be at the heart of everything that we do. Um, our, the five core values are a commitment to excellence. Um, we believe in the importance of compassion and integrity. We believe uh, in strength and diversity, an innovative spirit, and of course, lasting impact. And so my hope is as I talk about some of the different programs we have at our school, you'll see those different, those different themes kind of interwoven into some of the things we talk about. We have over 40 different um, nationalities represented in our student body. Uh, uh, a slight, the, the biggest group would be from Panama. However, we have a number of students from, of course, all over Latin America, the United States, Canada, Europe, Asia, all over the world. And so we really are uh, a, a multicultural campus. And that's not just with students, that's also with our staff. And so our staff is broken down of roughly 50% of our staff are from abroad and outside of Panama, and the other 50% roughly, roughly are from our host nation. And so we have a really diverse um, group of students and staff on our campus. We are, as was mentioned in the video, accredited by Cognia. Uh, we are a, an IB World School specifically with the diploma program. So in 11th and 12th grade, students have access to the diploma program should they wish. We also have a, a, a number of other tracks, one being our, our innovation and entrepreneurship certificate, 
that is uh, truly world class. And it's something for our students who are really passionate about engineering, coding, robotics, and really thinking through how technology can change the world. We try to provide pathways across our school um, for all of our students. On this next slide, we're just going to take a, a quick glance, I think, if that's possible, at our campus. And so I'm going to just kind of walk you through a, a few basic elements because this is uh, truly a world-class campus. We have a, a turf soccer field that is one of the best in Panama. We often, when international soccer teams are coming to Panama um, to play the national team, they often request to use our facilities. We have on the left side of the screen, I know it's kind of hard to tell, a beautiful new performing arts center that is home to our strong music and visual uh, theater program. Um, and as you can see, we also just have uh, space, which is something we're very, very fortunate of. And so while we, of course, have these beautiful classrooms, we also have this large sprawling campus for people who, who want to take their class outside and who want to have lunch outside and, and in the fresh air. Because as you can see from my backdrop, we're in such a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. We have an Olympic-sized swimming pool. We have tennis courts. Um, and then in the, in the video you saw, and in a few moments we'll see some other pictures, inside the classroom is obviously where the magic happens. And so if you could go to the next part of this. Uh, in addition to our mission and values, I just want to talk a little bit about our, uh, our principles of learning. And so we use these four principles to drive all instruction, all learning that happens on our campus. And at ISP, we believe that learning is, is iterative, iterative, meaningful, exciting, and social. And we believe that if we can do that from pre-K three all the way to 12th, we're going to really achieve our mission on a daily basis. And so you'll notice when you come to our campus that these are not only just all over our walls, but they drive our professional learning. They drive our conversations. They drive our evaluation structure in which this is really what we're looking at. Because we, we truly believe that if, if learning on our campus is iterative, meaningful, exciting, and social, that kids are going to be eager to get off the bus, even if they're in middle school. As a middle school principal, I know adolescents often start to kind of drag their feet when they come you know, start to get a little bit older. But it, we believe that if we can do these things effectively, kids are going to be jumping out of the bus to be in our programs, to be in our classrooms, um, because some really special things are happening. In addition to what's happening in the classroom, if you go to the next slide, please, uh, we have really strong after-school programs. And so at ISP, we, of course, really focus on academics. We're an academically driven institution. But we also know that students are more than just that. They're more than academics. And we want to push for well-rounded individuals, not only that are academically strong, but also have those character components. And we believe in order to achieve all of that, they need to participate in different after school activities. And so we have a robust athletics program uh, in which over 70% of our students participate in something. So we have sports, of course, from basketball to swimming to soccer to track and field to flag football um, for all ages of students, because we want them to participate in these different activities because we know that they can learn so much from that. As I mentioned, the bottom left-hand corner, we have a, a, a strong STEM program, and I believe it is the only certified STEM program in this part of the world. Uh, we just went through a reaccreditation and went through with flying colors because we have so many strong, um, strong elements in place. We have a beautifully renovated STEM labs all across our school, uh, and we have that pathway, as I mentioned earlier, that is specifically set up for students who want to, to pursue potentially careers in that field. Uh, they have that opportunity when they get, when they get to high school. In addition, as I mentioned, in our beautiful Performing Arts Center, we have a really strong music and uh, theater program. Uh, every year, our students put on a uh, production that is world class. Um, it is sold out almost every single night. And it's something that is really special because it brings our community together, especially after the pandemic. Um, we had, I think, our first few shows this fall, and it was just amazing. You'd get goosebumps going into there, into the, the Performing Arts Center to see students putting on this this absolutely stunning show. They did Little Mermaid this year. And just how it brings the community together was really, really powerful. In addition, you've seen a few pictures of it, but I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our, our Panamoon program. Um, every, every high schooler on our campus participates in um, what's called Panamoon. It's a model United Nations in which we invite students from all over the world to, uh, to spend a week, I believe roughly, really engaging in conversation about the issues facing the world and, and what we can do to solve that. The last, uh, the last slide, I believe, is just in general, what is life in Panama like? Um, I've been here, as I mentioned, for three years. I'm planning to stay for as long as I possibly can. I have three little kids, and so as a parent, I can vouch that raising kids in this country is amazing. Um, unlike some other parts of Central America, Panama is incredibly safe, which we're very fortunate about. 
um, it's also stunning. And so as I mentioned, we are located in Panama City. So if you're looking at the map, uh, Panama City itself is right on the Pacific Ocean. Our school is about 20 minutes outside of Panama City, inland a little bit, so that we have a little bit more space. However, we are um, at an hour to an hour and a half away from the Caribbean. And so Panama is one of the very few places on Earth where you can get to two different oceans in a very short period of time. And so we are known in Panama for our, our beaches, for amazing just outdoor opportunities. And so if you're a beach person, there are thousands of miles of coastlines, hundreds of miles of coastlines, um, of just stunning beaches, both in the Caribbean and the Pacific. Uh, if you're someone who likes wildlife and who likes being out in nature, we also have a number of different volcanoes, rainforests, um, mountains, and mountains is all relative. We're not talking about, you know, the Himalayas, but some, some different uh, types of climate that you can explore. So that picture actually down below of the toucan was taken by one of my neighbors. And so wildlife is just constantly around us in this country. Um, in terms of food, the food is truly amazing. I've spent uh, a number of years in Latin America and just love this part of the world. You can have fresh fish, you can have fresh vegetables and, and fruits and just so many amazing things. Um, the last thing I want to mention about life in Panama is, again, connected back to ISP, is our staff and our community on our campus. The bottom left-hand corner, you can see our staff uh, is goofy and quirky and likes to have fun and likes to joke around. And that's something that I really appreciate about being on our campus. It is uh, in a lot of ways, a family. And a lot of we spend a lot of time both uh, on campus, of course, together, but also off campus because we just enjoy each other's company. In the bottom right-hand corner, you'll also see um, our professional learning. And I think for me, that is one of the driving forces for what makes ISP great, is we have a, a, a strong professional learning program and a commitment to growing the people who come to our campus. And so we're working really hard through our strategic plan to um, provide a lot of choice and to meet every teacher where they are and to make sure that we're challenging and supporting everyone who comes into our campus. We're working really hard to create pathways. We know that when people come to our school, um, we want to capitalize on that. And if they're interested in getting to leadership or coaching, we want to provide those opportunities, those mentorships, that training to give them that chance. Um, and then the last one is we also believe that um, growth of staff is of utmost importance and that's not just a one-day pd and so we do a lot we have coaches at every level of our school our administrators are all academic leaders because we believe that that coaching and that growth is an ongoing process i could speak for about two more hours about how great our school is however i'm i'm running late on time and so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to send me an email i'd love to talk to you about panama we're hosting the tri association conference in just a few months and so maybe some of you will be down here if so please come find me. But thank you so much. And I really hope to see you all in Panama sometime soon. Thank you for traveling across the globe with us to learn more about international schools. To hear more from international educators and learn more about these fantastic institutions, tune in to our live Global Take episodes as we highlight international schools in our school Spotlight section presented by a school rubric.